Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of measuring angles. This is standard 4.7c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 27 of the 2022 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have angle TUV. We simply need to measure it using this protractor we see. But we could use a little bit of reasonableness and we can actually get rid of two answer selections already. So let's take a look. What do we know about angles? All right, so the three angles that we have learned about, right, are these little tiny angles that are called acute angles, but they don't necessarily have to look like that. There we go. Uh, they can be really, really skinny, or they could be almost a 90 degree angle. Really, it's just anything that is less than 90 degrees. Those are acute angles, okay? And then we've got our right angles. So those are just square corners. Boom, exactly 90 degrees. And then we have obtuse, which is going to be anything that is greater, right? So it's going to be like kind of big like that, maybe just a little bit above 90 degrees or just almost like a straight angle, really big. Anything that is greater than 90 degrees. Well, here's my 90 degrees, right? So here's my right angle. If I were to draw this right here, see how the 90 is nice and big at the top? Look how that makes a nice square corner. Okay, so there's your 90 degrees right there. So look at angle TUV. Is that visually greater than or less than 90 degrees? It doesn't necessarily start at a zero, and sometimes you can't really tell because they're kind of in the middle of the protractor. But this is over on the right side of the protractor. And look at both of these lines. Uh, this ray UT and the ray UV are both within that 90 degrees, which means angle TUV is going to be less than 90 degrees. So if it's less than 90 degrees, look at this. I'm going to get rid of those two right there. It is an acute angle. So I've already eliminated two answer choices. So now let's get to the actual protractor to see what we can do, all right? So you can actually, since it's not on a zero, you're gonna to need to use both ends. You can do either set, all right? So let's look at the outer set right here. So this one is at the 110. And if you're gonna go outside, you have to go outside on the other one as well. We got the 170. So we're going to subtract the two to see the difference between these two. All right, and that looks like 60 degrees, okay? Now, if you wanted to do on the inside, that's fine. So take a look. I'm going to underline them. You've got a 10, and you've got a 70. So always put the larger one on top. Guess what you're going to get? Same thing. So... Why would they give you two sets? Well, when you're actually using a protractor to draw, right, you always want your starting line to be on one of the zeros to the left or the right. And then it just depends on whether your angle opens to the left or opens to the right, because all angles don't open in the same direction. So that's why they give you numbers on the inside and the outside, right? So you notice, I mean, this is where the 110, obviously 110 and 170 don't work. But take a look at that 110 right there. You see that 110? That's that number right there. So if you didn't know how to measure, you would just pick up that number. And look at that 170. That's that number right there. So that's not using any subtraction. You're just pulling numbers off the protractor. This 10 degrees, take a look at that. There's that 10. It actually lives right there. It's, th it's the other side right there. So the three wrong answers are just pulling numbers off the protractor. The only one that involves any type of operation where you have to subtract the two is going to be our correct answer of B, 60 degrees.